What's up guys and welcome back. I got some questions asked about my intro and where I made it. My intro is made in Premiere Pro and I also got a question about LumaFusion and if I could make the intro in LumaFusion and make a tutorial about it. So that's what I did and that's what this video is about. So let's jump right into LumaFusion and start the tutorial. <laughs> So you start by opening up Luma Fusion, then you make a new project and then you go to titles and you add a plain white standard title. Once you added the plain white standard title, you go into edit and you remove the text and you add a shape and the shape you're going to add is a one pixel line. So start by adding one pixel line and then center this one to your desired position or you can follow my example if you want to make a similar intro as I have. So first we're gonna start by rotating the first one pixel line to minus 90 degrees or plus 90 degrees. So once we've done that, we're gonna scale it down and we're gonna place it on the left side. So once we're done and satisfied with the placement of this layer, you can get out and you can adjust the length to be around 5.12 or 5-ish. And the reason why we make the clip at 5.12-ish or 5 seconds is because we're gonna put all the clips together and at the end, when the final clip and the final intro is rendered, we will scale it down to fit the music that we want to use for our intro. And once you're done with that, you go back into edit and you go over to cropping. And we're gonna start by making a keyframe at the beginning. And then we're gonna center the cropping to 50 on top and the exact same thing to the bottom one. So we will have two croppings, which is 50 from the top down and from the bottom up. Once you're done with that, you go four or five frames and you make a new keyframe and then you scale everything back to normal or so it just reveals the line and once you're done with that you go a little bit to the right of the center of the clip and then you make another keyframe and then you move the one pixel line to your desired position and you can now see that you have some animation applied to this one pixel line you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. This is just a tutorial, an example, and it's easier for you to customize your own, but following these steps. So once you're done adjusting the keyframes, you can go out and you can play through and see if you're happy with the result. And I see that mine is a little bit to the right, so I'm gonna change it a little bit more to the left for the last keyframe. Once you're happy with the animation that you made, the next thing you do is to duplicate it and then move the duplicated layer above the first one. And in this layer, you're gonna move everything back to the start where you first started your animation. And on the second layer, you're gonna start the cropping from zero to reveal. So the final and last keyframe will be revealing the one pixel line so once you're happy with the animation on your second layer, you apply a new one. And in this one, we're gonna apply two one pixel lines, one at the top and one at the bottom. Follow my example to see what I do. So the next thing you do is you go into edit on the top layer that you just made with the two lines and then you go to cropping. So you're going to crop so the line going from right to left when it comes back again is revealing the lines that you have on bottom and the top. So 
So you're gonna start by going to the end of the two lines on the right side and then you make a keyframe then you go to the left exactly when the left line is getting revealed and you make another keyframe. Follow my example to see what I do. And the final result will look something like this. Once we're done with all the layers, the next thing we do is to render it into Photoshop and we're gonna render it at maximum quality. 4K, 30 FPS, or you can choose between 50 and 100 megabits per second. Once the render is complete, you can choose if you want to delete the three layers or if you wanna make a new project. In my example, I'm gonna make a new project. Then I'm gonna go to the Photoshop and I'm gonna insert the clip that we just made. So the next thing we do is we go into source and we go to titles. Then we add a new text layer. And then we type the desired name that we want to have in the intro. I'm gonna type Rob HK tutorials. Once we're done with that, you can change the font. If you change to a big sized font, your LumaFusion might crash. The only thing you do is to go out of LumaFusion and then right back in again. And the problem is fixed. And the next thing that we want to do is to make the vertical line reveal the text. So follow my example to see what I do. We're first gonna go into cropping, then we're gonna change the right cropping to match our text. So we just covered the text. Then we're gonna make a keyframe. We're gonna make another keyframe right before the two lines is starting to move to the left. And then we're gonna reveal the text. So once you're done with the cropping, it will look something like this. But this intro is too short, so we need to make it longer. So the next thing we do is to render this project and we're gonna render it at maximum quality. Once the render is complete, you go to your photos app and you apply the file that you just rendered. Then you go into edit and you go to speed and you go to reverse. So we will have the first clip that you made where the intro is revealing everything and then you reverse it so it will remove everything. And that looks just amazing, but it's still too short for me. So we're gonna apply two more clips of the same intro so to do that, you go back to your Photos app and you apply the clip where we have the animation lines only. And then you add a new text layer or you duplicate the one you have and you can type in something different. I'm gonna type LumaFusion. And you can also see that now it reveals LumaFusion, but it doesn't take it away at the end. So what we want to do now is to render the Luma Fusion clip. And to do that, what I usually do is to copy and duplicate the project. And then I remove the first clips.
and then I render the last one I want to keep and once the render is complete I go back to the first project again and then I apply the newly rendered file and go into edit and then reverse this one so that was the last clip that I wanted to add to this intro so let's check out the entire intro itself and see what it looks like So once the render is complete, you can delete all your projects and you can also delete the previous files that you had to make to make this intro. It's super easy to make, just follow the steps and you can make your own. You can customize it your way and you can make it yours. So that's everything for this video. If you have any other tutorials that you want me to make, don't forget to type it down in the comment below. And also don't forget to check out this channel this channel and subscribe to my channel if you like what I do give this video a big thumbs up smash that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video peace